Change is happening right now. The question is, can you hear it? Can you see it? Can you feel it surround you? Because if you're disengaged in your work or the world around you, chances are that change is directing your life. Why? Because most of us resist change. Oh, we say that we embrace change, and I'm open-minded, but when it comes to change, all of a sudden we find ways to push back. The truth is this. How you embrace change creates your future. Right Management did a uh, global survey on change. And they surveyed over 28,000 employees in 15 industries across 10 countries. And their surprise was this, that nine out of 10 employees become disengaged when the organization doesn't really manage change well. Why does that matter to us? Because there's a cost. For every disengaged employee, you have what happens when they're disengaged, they're not, they're less productive, right? And there's cost tied to being less productive. So the cost can range anywhere from $3,400 to $10,000 an employee. Isn't it amazing if you had a work environment where everybody was engaged, deadlines were met, and we were working effectively together? When we're looking for money today in our organizations, why aren't we looking at this? Several years ago, I decided I would go back and attend the circus that came to town. And you know, in my mind, I was thinking, you know, I can remember when I was a kid, I would go up and I would find the souvenir with the monkey on the stick. And then I realized everything had changed. See, everything either lights up now, spins around, makes noise, or all three. You know, I sat in my, in my seat watching the circus, and I heard that familiar sound, Welcome to the greatest show on earth! Well, it was about the only thing that I remembered that was just like it was 40-plus years ago. And I began to, I got my binoculars out, I began to watch the performers, and as I did, boy, these performers look so much younger than what I recall. And just like that, I began to ask myself, well, what happened to these star performers? I mean, obviously, life doesn't stand still, does it? Because change is always happening. And I began to watch the performers and, and try to figure out what was going on in the lives of these star performers. You know, the one person that stood out the most to me was the ringmaster. Because I watched him magically manage three rings. There were things that he was controlling. Who was going to come into what ring and perform? And then he would influence other people to take this on or here, you need to do this. And there would be some communication that was happening. And then, frankly, there were some things that just the unexpected happened. And I watched him respond to it. And at that moment, I realized that in careers today, there are three rings that we manage in every career. There is change that we can control, what you focus on, what you spend energy on, what you get a degree in, where you want to live, what you want to, ladies, what hair dye you want to choose. It's in your control. Then there's this change that you influence. Now, influence is when you're working in an organization and you actually 
come to an agreement. I'll do this if you do that. You may lead a group or a team. Or frankly, you may just live as an example of how to walk through change. But this last ring, change you have to respond to, well, that's the most difficult. You know, the, as the circus was ending, the elephant was walking by me and decides to stop and take an unexpected bathroom break. And you know how we say in work, well, you know, shit happens. But here's what I noticed. They were prepared for the unknown. They came around, cleaned it up, and I barely focused on the change, the unexpected change. As I've been reviewing for years and years and decades of my, my experience in HR management and, and coaching clients, I began to figure out that there are five types of behaviors that respond to change. Each of these behaviors actually resemble five circus acts. The first circus act, the individual, the daredevil. You see, the daredevil, people that are like a daredevil often will jump off the cliff and figure out how to build the plane on the way down. You see, they take risk. The daredevil personalities are often these people that start a project on Monday and then they start another one on Tuesday and another one comes in on Wednesday and then on Friday you go, hey, do you got anything done? They go, no, but it was so fun. Because they lack focus. And they need somebody that's managing people that are daredevil personalities to focus them. How many of you know of a daredevil? Yeah? They're the ones who bought the first iPhone. They spent the night on the street waiting for it to come out. They don't know a thing about it. But they got to have it. Then we have the lion tamer. Now the lion tamer, it hears change every day, every week, every month, every year. And they look at change and they often feel like they're surrounded by this change. And they take one or two roars of change and they create what we call an act. They, they create structure. All right, if the merger's on its way, how do I get my hands around this? Let me, give me the opportunity to take one or two changes and let me create some structure. If the lion tamer is not given the opportunity to create structure, they will leave the cage. They will leave the organization. Then we have the juggler. Now we all know what the juggler does, don't we? Don't they just keep the balls up in the air? And then comes change. And change drives the juggler crazy. They're like, how am I going to add this to what I'm already doing? I mean, I'm already working 10 hours a day. And they struggle. This is a struggle. Like, oh, how, how do I add this to, to what I'm already doing? Right? Here's what the juggler needs. They need some logic. So give me some logic of why this change is happening. Why are we needing the new payroll system? Why are we merging platforms? Why are we driving this new policy? What, can you give me logic? Because if I could get logic, then maybe I can actually take the change and, oh, actually move it right into what I'm already doing. Now here's the thing you need to know about a juggler. Their greatest fear is having dropped the ball. Because, see, jugglers don't want to disappoint. Then we have the tightrope walker. Now, this personality here, 
They're looking at this change and they're going, okay, I want to know who made this. Who made this up? How much weight does this hold? How high up will this be? Do you want me to run across this rope of change? Tightrope walkers will take it one step at a time. And they've got lots of questions to get answered. So if you manage somebody that's a tightrope walker, what are you going to do? You're going to create a net. And you're going to say, what's one step you can take toward change? We know the merger's happening. Yes, you may have to redo a step here. But what's one step you can take across this rope of change? You see, they get stuck in perfectionism. And then we have this last behavior. This last behavior is what we call the weightlifter. Oh, yes. Uh huh. These are individuals who do the grunt work of the organization. And they said, oh, yeah, that merger eight years ago, it didn't work then. It ain't going to work now. Right? Sometimes these individuals are always, are also those people that have created a niche, what we call a, maybe a muscle. And they're going to say, but you know, no one asked me about how this is going to affect my department or my client or our vendors or our customers. And what you do with a weightlifter is you say to them, shoot holes in this for me. I'm, this is coming. We don't have a choice. But give me all, you see, weightlifters need to be heard. When they're heard, they will take a step toward change. And all of us have all of these, they, we showcase every one of these profiles, behaviors. The question is, are you managing it well? Do you know where you're at when change happens? Because the reality about this is that how you embrace the change will certainly create your future.